an ordinary night in an ordinary town, a small town in the middle of nowhere in particular. The children of Middleville are getting a good night's sleep. Not a fantastic night's sleep, but a good night's sleep. Good night, son. Remember, if you're busy reaching for the sky, you'll fall flat on your face. This is Dennis Reeves from Iowa Public Radio. Get some rest. Tomorrow is a school day and it's important to be rested. This is Julie Englander, Weekend Edition host for Iowa Public Radio. Good night, dear. And remember, the things you can depend on might be the dullest things around. This is Ben Kiefer, host of Iowa Public Radio's River to River. Good night, honey. Just remember, keep an even keel and a level course. Aim for the middle of the ocean or road if you're on land. This is Charity Nebby from Middleville. of kids? Bubsy, they've been outsmarted by a bunch of kids. <laughs> Bubsy wants to know if you had a good breakfast. Yes, they, yes, they did, Bubsy. <laughs> and Bubsy says to brush your teeth. Now listen, if you boys do not get the painting, it's not going to be a very happy home. No more taking you to Coney Island and, and no more ice cream. You got it? Well, Bubsy, we did the best we could. <laughs> of you to bring a picture for everyone to copy and to make yours exactly like everyone else's. Yeah, it's so nice. Everyone's is the same. <laughs> boy, oh boy, do I remember school. I remember when I used to eat glue. Do I, look, do I look like a teacher? You remind me of our old kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Troutlets. She also needed a shave. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. That's what Mrs. Troutlips used to say. Then she whacked me with a ruler. I, I can't. You guys stay here. I'm gonna go teach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't get sent to the office. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Students, I have your test scores back, and you are all doing well. Everyone is right at the mark. Yep. No bell curves here. We are all flatlined. Let's applaud ourselves. <laughs> May I help you? The students were about to rehearse a uh, theatrical sketch for our annual school program. I'm your substitute teacher for today. Substitute? I didn't go for a substitute. I haven't missed a day in 15 years. I have a sturdy, regular constitution. I never get sick. Well, maybe the occasional dull headache. I was sent because there's a meeting today. But I did Students, it's rude to interrupt. What meeting? There's a, a um, official teacher's meeting. Oh dear, I cannot miss an official meeting. But the Miss Level Pass! I must attend all scheduled meetings. It's in my contract. The teacher must attend all scheduled meetings. Yes, it is on the schedule. But the Miss Level Pass!
She could run the mob. <laughs> well, well, okay, somebody here got something that don't belong to them. Does it? Who knows what can happen if you take something that don't, doesn't belong to you? That depends on how much it's worth. Over $25,000, you get a maximum of 10 years. That was, was your first violation. What's taking you so long? It was your second violation. Stop talking! You have three seconds to turn over the painting. Or else! That's it. I'm getting out of here. I hate bugs and kids. If I ever see any buggy kids, I'm leaving. Pops and Mumsy said we have to get the painting. We, we don't, don't care. care. The shirt said Middleville Manufacturing. Whoa, you read that? Owned and operated for 50 years. That's a long time. To, to Middleville, Middleville Manufacturing. Manufacturing.